Oops, I forgot to attack. Welcome back to... <laughs> that was a great start. Welcome back to another episode of Banjo-Kazooie. As... Where do you say, honestly? Welcome back to another episode. I've been streaming. And I've been using that as a... You know, sort of as like a replacement. Um... I, I, I stopped doing like these kinds of single single player stuff like this because I sort of was not really having fun anymore and also uh, I'm not sure man like it just like obviously deep down you would uh I was sort of like you know hoping that like if I can make money off this I'll be sick and nasty I'm just gonna jump because there's actually a little seaweed here for uh honeycomb I'm gonna kill this guy very cheeky and stuff yes Efficient, not really. Just doing it as you're intended. Okay, and then you, you give me the ground pound. Um, the yeah, like single player stuff. I stopped doing single player stuff as I mentioned in the last episode with Mario Maker 20, the fifth or 25th episode. By the way, I'm I'm recording this episode right after the last episode. So keep that in mind. The mentality, the mentality that I have right now is as if you, you've seen the last episode uh, mere minutes ago. So, it's gonna be a little weird. This ground pound. Uh, it makes everything a little framey. Also, I quickly popped in to see how the video was like. Uh, last video. And I noticed that uh, the game audio was desynced. Now, at first I was like, ah, you serious, dude? Like, I gotta start everything all over again, but not really. Like I think I can like just uh, with the power of editing, I can um, probably mix some things around. The unfortunate thing is that um, uh, this time I'm recording uh, everything at once. So with OBS, just one single recording software. OBS is recording the game, video, game sound, and the microphone sound. Um, so every, I cannot split every, anything up. Uh, I decided to do that because I sort of kind of didn't care. I'm sorry. Um, I just, uh, previously I used to use Audacity to capture my microphone audio. Um, in the hopes that like, if, if ever anything happens, I can always easily splice, splice things up if it goes out of sync. Okay, so here's like the last bottle's tutorial for this world on a new move. It's not really, it's not really a tutorial, it's just like a straight-up new move. Yeah, hold stuff down and we basically get running. Fast, fast mode. And also you can climb up uh, higher slopes. But not all the slopes. Maybe you collected enough notes to break the first note door. Spell. Nice. And if I remember correctly, there should be a. There it is. Ikum Bokum. Another doohickey magog. He's a little bit more annoying to collect. This camera is not always cooperative. Fourth Jinjo. Here's for commentary dips, by the way. If you haven't noticed, like I kind of just ran out of things to say. Uh, I yeah, that's another reason I didn't talk about it in last episode. Another reason why I sort of just stopped talking is because I'm not a naturally funny guy. Other other guys, other people, uh, just have like the natural talent to be entertaining, have the ability to talk, uh, and talk. And keep talking. I don't, I don't really have that ability. I'm not. I'm, I'm not really like the talkative person, um, which does not really come combo well. It doesn't combo well at all. Uh, I, do I have every every skull, every crystal skull? I don't. I need two more. Where the heck do I get them? Over here, I guess. There's another jiggy. I see one in the distance, and also like the last Jinjo. Let's go straight to it, and I'll get this later. Like my friend Danny and Zach, 
like they're just like they're they can both like talk for a long time and be very entertaining it's a good time to have and i think that like that's why like they're they're, they're sort of like going like really well with like uh, streaming slash making videos and stuff they just have a talent for that my friend lucas also is sort of like making like uh content with uh dragon ball fighters uh normally he was only he was only like making uh like comedy videos and just like some project and stuff like that on his youtube channel lucasa I think, it's, I think it's what he's calling himself nowadays. It's like sort of changing from like Louis B to Lucasa. I think Lucasa is like the most recent. Okay, we almost have every note. Are we missing one skull? It might be inside. It might be inside the Mumbo's house. Let me go check. I'm skipping this, that's why he sounds fast. Watch it, boy. Kazooie's like, very, like, does not give a shit about, like, what the heck you are, or what you are. He's very rude. Yeah, I need, I need like, one more. One more skull. I don't know where to find the skull. Where, where haven't I been? Inside the thing, this place right here, a little termite hill. The termite. Oh, it was okay. Interesting. You need you need to you need in order to even climb on that little thing that I was on, little platform that I was slanted. You need like the this we power up. And then you know, you have to go in there, get the crystal skull, and then yeah, you have enough to get this little thing turned into a termite. And he's like, "Ooh, yeah, Pancho have plenty of tokens. Stand on skull and press B to see Mighty Mumbo Magic." Ooh, and then you turn into a termite. Mumbo's magic, free to change it back. You come when ready. Turn my bit small, but not bad for first spell. Mumble practice needed. The dialogue in this game is pretty good. Like everyone, everyone has like their own like uh, characteristic and whatnot. Like Gruntilda always speaking in rhymes and like Zoe being rude, Mumbo speaking more primitive. And you're just like regular bottles is nerd. Um, and a character from Panjo Tui speaks the cousin of uh, of Bottles, the Sergeant. I don't, I don't remember what his name was, but all I remember is like I think he's I think he's just like referred to him as a Sergeant. Um, he is like he talks in the military, obviously. Okay, and there we have collected a hundred out of a hundred of the notes for a completion sake. They don't they gave you like a life. I noticed that just just now. Um, but they don't really give like anything else. Oh no wait wait, wait. No, that's wrong, I'm wrong. I'm wrong in thinking I remember now there's doors that require notes to open in the hub world. Um <clears throat> and they take account for your uh the to your total. The the total sum of your max score in every world. So you, you really you really want to get like the the max in every world. This game has lives. I, I, I think Banjo 2 did not have lives. It's like weird. <clears throat> and as a kid, going back to that subject, as a kid, uh, I did like I have no knowledge. Also, by the way, that that ringtone means that like we have completed, or we have collected every jiggy in this world. Um, so we still need more. I know where it is. Let's go get it now. But actually, 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 actually. I should I shouldn't have done this before. <clears throat> There's a. Uh, if you remember earlier, we saw like uh, or like in, I think it was in, in the last episode. There was a Gruntilda little button uh, over where Congo is, and uh, we we need we need the ground pound to activate. Now spawn Jiggy. 
outside this world. Very weird stuff. Like it's weird for me because like it's like it's 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 it spawns a jiggy outside of the world. There's not there's not a whole lot of things. Oh wait 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 yeah, no 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 no. Go back into this form. Oh, okay good I made it. Here's there's like the last little hexagon. I forgot what it's called. The like honey hexagon it's made out of wax. Not made out of honey, but made out of wax. Used to contain stuff. Honeycomb, that's what they're called. I was, I was like using all my glucose. Oh no, three dimensions is a, is a thing. Death perception, I don't have it. Yes, your computer did lag. You are lagging right now. So refresh, press F5 to refresh the web screen. I'm kidding. That was that's just how like the game is like is done. It like has to pause for a second. Okay, now now that we've done that, I when I practice, uh, I didn't actually go collect that, but I here's my assumption that you have to do. I just want to test this out. You have to turn into a shermite. Oops, I was trying to punch. Which is a move, by the way. Like, I, I never use that move ever. Because it's not that good. And also, it was not in Banjo Tui. Little triple punch, which is a jab in the in the Smash Brothers. It's a little. It's like. They got, like, they got like new like animations for it, like a huge overhaul redesign for it by the way. Like it looks very very different, it's so different that you can't even notice it. I think you can go back, yes you can. Interesting, here's like, so, here's the thing that like you can't really like do uh... Quentin's Magic sounds interesting, but the 100, you just collect it, counts as your best note score. Try to get 100 on each world as they are needed to open the note doors. Okay, cool. I'm not sure if that's how it was supposed to be done, but it, it worked. Nonetheless. Hey, where'd you get those shorts? I want them! He still hurts you, even if you're a termite. He just like... That's how, that's how they, they managed to... Oh, did you see that? That was weird. That's a bit of a hiccup. Let me just test my pod. Okay, so it looks, still looks fine. And also, yeah, ev everything respawns when uh, when you exit the world and come back. But it doesn't. I I collect everything. It only like uh, it only like records like like what you uh what you did in the run, essentially, I guess. Alright, but we're done with this world. And I've been recording for 13 minutes, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna explore around. Let's just turn me back. I don't really want to have a 13, 13 minute episode. I think 20 minutes is fine. Right, back to banjo. I don't want any of your notes. It, it it does frustrate me a little bit that the notes are still there because I really want to collect them. It it gives me that sensation of like you didn't collect anything. You failed. It makes me feel like I did not complete my objective and task at hand. <clears throat> oh, by the way, this is like his dash attack. Um, this is like the move that I usually use to attack, like not not standing attack because like it's so it's a it's a, it's hard to hit. It's cumbersome. The hitbox is not the greatest. You have to be standing. I have to use this move to actually get up here. The steep hill. So here you need 50, 50 of these things, 50 of these notes to get past. Oh, 
I gotta drink this. The rest of this gym looks apple. Apple nectar, because I don't have water nearby. And my throat's getting parched. <clears throat> it's the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the world must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. Magic. Man, I would actually taste a little weird. <clears throat> Although it's easy for you to get past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. See, there's the rhyme. There's this guy. Can't use this just yet. This is the shock jump disc. Find me, and I'll tell you how to use it. Alright, let's activate this map to remove pieces that you have already put down press the down c button but once the picture is complete all the pieces are stuck there permanently okay this opens the chest and now from here on out from here on out uh everything is new well, well, like, not new to me, but, like, new to, like, current me. Hello there, young ones. I'm Brentilda, Brentilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you to avoid a fiery fate. First, be if you'd like to hear them. I think, I think it's a reference to the point. I think, I... I at the end, you might have a quiz, maybe? When you open a world door, bad is escape and roam once more. Kind of like the tournament that we saw. Can I talk to you? When she brushes her rotten teeth with salted slug flavored toothpaste. She also washes her hair with rancid milk. Yuck. And she gets her clothes from the trash can. Alright, that's three of them. She doesn't give more. And I didn't talk to her because she doesn't say anything else. Okay, we came from this door. What is, what is this over here entail? Here's one, one of my, like, uh, things that I didn't like about this game, is that it gets... It, get, it gets confusing. Um, not quickly. It just gets confusing eventually, because you're constantly increasing the size of your hub, and then it, I like I get lost, and I'm like, I don't know where the frick to go. I just got a skull from behind him, I guess. I didn't even see it. You've activated a magic cauldron. Find two of the same colors to create a shortcut. Alright, let's move on. There's only a couple more minutes left to this recording is done, but, you know. <sighs> I just really, 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 really hope that I can manage to salvage the first episode's recording by just st st stitching up some of the audio. Like, you get so many split paths, you, you can- I think you can go inside of here, right? Go and so you hear it, and then like you got this stuff, you can exit this place, and then there's more monsters, and then blah blah blah. And there's a cauldron, you've activated a magic cauldron. Find two of blah blah blah. To create a shortcut. Can I enter you? I can. No, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. Apparently, you're not the same color. I thought you were. There's another skull. And then, I don't know, I guess you need like a power-up, maybe, in the, in the later stuff? Hey. Up here, but you need 180 notes. I thought there was something. Uh, oh, look at this! Yes, there is. My memory serves me correct. It is serving me well. What is that? 
We're like sort of just like kind of roaming through the uh, hub world. It's kind of unnecessary to break that dude, but whatever. Ma majority of the enemies are sort of just like you don't even need to kill them at all. You just they're just there to inconvenience you. And this is closed. Okay. We got you. Oh, it's you. Reti wears a reinforced girdle under <laughs> that repulsive dress of hers. He's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Big Naka. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Broomstick Boys. They're awful. I'm getting feathers now. We, I'm a red feather, I help Kazooie fly when she knows how. I'm still here. I watch you play, but I can't think of much to say. Well, let's go down here. Normally, a person would go to the second world. Instead, I'm just exploring everything, I guess. Because we opened up that treasure chest, that's the second world. And I think this is like the third world. I could be wrong. I usually am. More eggs. Uh, yes, it's the swamp. I'm not. I, I don't know the order of these, but you know. If you want to place all the pieces into the picture, just press Z. Nice. I'm like convenience at a maximum. Bubble gloop swamp. I think is that it? Is that all that there was in the in this? Here, I I I sort of don't really. I don't know how to word this besides like without it sounding negative. Because it sounds like a negative. Uh, in Banjo Tui, I can, and I could very well be wrong about this. Like I could, if I'm wrong. Then it's like, dude, you're just an asshole, and you just want to hate things for the sake of hating them. But that's not true. I just like, you know, I just like comparing two things, and it's like one is better, I guess, maybe. Well, what I was gonna say is that, like, I I think in, in Badger Two, you don't have to do like this whole like, you have to find where the where the world is, where the world entrance is, and also where the the picture is. Um, which, they're usually in two separate areas, I think. Um... Uh, I think in Badger 2 you don't need that. Like, fucking honeycomb is still there, I can't believe it. Um, you don't really need that. You just sort of find the area and then you go in. I didn't read the first dialogue, but it'll rhyme. There's another entrance over there. We're sort of going like a little bit overboard, but like... I just wanna like, do this, and then... Get to where the second world is, and then just call it an episode. I'm running out of things to say. It's another picture. The click clock wood. It's here again. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Hog Breath at which school? I also know that freshly burst. What was their favorite smell? I think I read that wrong. And old hag's favorite color is ghastly gray. You would think it would be green because she's green. Oh, I can't have life, apparently. I don't understand the purpose of life here. Because if you die, you, you have to collect the notes all over again, anyways. Like in, in the inside of a world. Oh, here's a skull. I don't. Really, I don't like these secrets, but whatever. Okay, 
let's go, let's go back. I'm pretty sure in uh, in Banjo Tooie, you just sort of find the area. Was there a hub world? The sort of sort of a pseudo hub world where like every world is sort of connected to each other, but not in like this sort of stance where there's like like um, a big area that connects to the other worlds. It, it was more so like there was like this sort of like half linear linear. Tr I, I, I it's hard to explain. But it wasn't, it wasn't like, sort of how it is here. Like in Mario 64 and Banjo 2, because it were, it's just like hubby. Very hubby worldy. Okay, so I think we are at the, the second, uh, yeah, here it is. So, Treasure Trove Cove, this is the second world. We're gonna do this next episode. Oh, there's a cannon. I don't know what the fuck this does. Um, next episode, we'll do this world. And hopefully I can get, like, I don't know, maybe... Some other day I can do this, but like I'm I'm done with this recording session. That's for sure, cause I'm my throat is dying on me. There's nothing behind you, I don't think. No. Okay. Well, yeah. That's gonna be all for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you. I'll see you next time.